Hello everybody, thank you all for joining me today. I think it is part 4 or 5, I'm not totally sure, <laughs> of the Kingdom of Bohemia campaign Let's Play series. I know it's been a long time, and we're starting here at the battle all that, um... I think we sort of lined up in the previous episode. For me, it's been a really long time since I actually played this campaign, so... Uh, I might not be totally sure of what is going on, or where we left off, or what the idiots were back then, so if you any... <laughs> Uh, memory on that please fill me in and welcome to welcome for suggestions in the comment section so anyway um, I hope so far you've been enjoying this series as well uh, same as me it's been a while of course again <laughs> since we last played it um, and uh, yeah, yeah here we are I suppose um, well uh, we have now like two campaigns on my own I've now decided actually to sort of end the campaign of the uh, Armenia campaign and if there is like a battle that I still will play in that um, I will show it sort of in a cinematic battle instead of just yeah, playing it uh, playing old square I suppose you could say that just playing the campaign and uh, not really having an end to it and um, I already know uh, which campaign will be replacing that but um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a preview with like a battle that I played for that campaign so we'll be uh, seeing that soon this week my god um so anyway uh that was not a little bit update for those who are subscribed to the channel and, and want to get updates for those of you who of course watching this later it is always welcome to, to join me and subscribe to get the uh, updates to, to our channel it's always nice of course to, to, to get support it's always good for the channel anyway uh it seems like this uh, unit has uh, been uh, removed itself from the equation Actually, I shall hold off the enemy my, has been spotted. my uh, general. Ready and Fire! Come on, Archers, go and start firing, please. We have our uh, Retiri. Jeez. That's a pronunciation I don't want to do again. I hope that we can sort of push through that. I'm not sure what the hell. Yeah, I think we have like. A, I have a little bit of a problem with my new graphic cards, and I. It's not really so that the the Kaffir cards are the problem. Uh, unfortunately, both the Total War games now I've played, unfortunately, still register my old uh, amount of video, video memory, but it's kind of annoying. So it might make the battles not be as good looking as they should be, but I'm not totally sure on that. So I'm just still waiting on doing that because I um There's a bit more about the safe game I have on all of those, so. It, before I do that, I really want to finish all the campaigns I have going on. So, um, before I even do that, because it's the, uh, one of the campaigns, um, yeah, of course, is still the garbage campaign now of this Bohemia campaign, and we also sort of finished already the. Uh, I guess I could save them on clouds, on the Steam Clouds. That might work for the campaigns, so I might do that actually to the save the campaigns. No I did not thought of that until now, so who knows. Uh, that might work. Oh god, all oh, these guys got charged and they got absolutely smacked. Get on, get on top. Oof. Oh, this guy has been slaughtered again. Not great. Yeah, this shit is not going too well, as we can see. No, no, don't keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. Again. Yeah, this guy is not going to win that. This guy is also going to die. Because I think he got charged. I'm not sure. I'm, yeah, actually, he was the one that got uh, just shot to death, I think, by the crossbow units. Not too badly. <laughs> Where did they just die off? And guys almost pushed through yet? No, yeah. That's unfortunate. But I can't really change that still can I? Huh. Yeah, 
I'm still trying to patter it down and don't really seem that worth it anymore. Ah well, you're now be back on that and stuff, so I guess we should just take it. Yeah, these guys will die. Ah well, as long as my better melee troops don't die, I'm happy enough. I guess. And we get some nice shorts, little freaking arrows. Fucking the what? Everywhere. You know, some while since I played this game. I've seen it for a long while. Yeah, I think I had little, so what I, I really needed a break from Total War, what I needed. But was because I, I think I had a little bit of a franchise fatigue for myself. Because this has been, I've been playing so much of these games. Especially because there's not really been like a new historical Total War game that I can really like uh, play. Like. Um, like these games like I've played Rome 2 since it came out since I think that was 2010 and that's like 12 or 11 years now and yeah unfortunately enough over time it just it just gets a bit stale playing the, the same game oh my god that must have hurt to get out of unit. so yeah I think that is also why I took a break from YouTube because I yeah it's not like I can really start playing another game and like I also have been playing a bit of Bandlord for myself, but I'm not really willing yet to start playing that game until it is like stable enough with mods. Because like I have been playing with mods, and I I I, I um I do really like with the mods playing it, but it is just so unreliable. Because sometimes I just don't know why the game crashes anymore. Because it can play for such a long time, but it can be some little thing that can make the whole whole the, the whole let's play go, or I suppose the whole play to go to shit. And I guess I don't really want that uh, anymore. Uh, that to happen, especially with recording that is just really annoying and I guess that's why I am reluctant to start playing that game and vanilla I guess you can also play vanilla I think it's doing great but I would really rather play it with mods to be more for myself more enjoyable and also with for you guys because like I right now for an example I've been playing with mods that um, like allow you to make your own costume troop train and really love that making your own like style of kingdom and that kind of stuff I think that's really cool um, yeah, those things I just would enjoy more be able to do those stuff and not having the risk that I have to do like crashes every time and be worried that at some point the campaign just stops working but I think would be really unfortunate so I guess that's why I'm reluctant to play also other games for the channel and I think those days can just come online most and same with Crusader Kings uh, with Crusader Kings 3 it is more that I am um, I'm not the most excited for that game. I did enjoy it in the beginning, but I think it's just more hype enjoying it. But to be honest, I don't think the game is that uh, progressive if you compare it to like Crusader Kings 2. It's, it's a certainly thing that has improved upon it, but I cannot say, in good, to be honest, that the changes that are were made were better than were what were in the in the first game. But I guess because the the, the thing game looks better, there's some mechanics that are new, but there isn't that much difference to it. It still is certain that most of the same concept, and I guess you can say the same thing with Total War, especially with battle sizes and how much units you can have in the overall uh, uh, battle, like. You're pushing it to the limit if you like playing with 16,000 men on the battlefield, especially play it with people. Uh, the dance they have like crashes is just damn large, unfortunately enough. And those like things that I think, yeah, yeah, this is not sometimes uh, too progressive. Sometimes game show, especially in their like later development. Like the thing is, eh, the thing is that I like the the, the match combat thing that you see like in Total War and Rome too. The only reason they removed that in the in the later game is because they couldn't get it to work. They didn't try to fix the problem, they just removed it. The same thing that you have with Warhammer when you play with the freaking naval battles. How cool would it be if you could make that work? 
freaking sea monsters and, and ship fighting and all that kind of jazz stuff would just be really interesting but unfortunately enough they thought nah they can't really implement that because we have no idea how to do it so we remove it in the first game and the second game it basically is replaced with what was it now with the fact that you can uh, oh yeah you now have play on the random R lane so you, you have to imagine that like two armies decide upon yeah actually we don't want to fight a naval battle so let's just go to a freaking island and fight it there like um yeah i just don't like that kind of stuff just that i think that is just just an ignoring the problem and not fixing it and i think that's also like things like what you have in three kingdoms but i think is also really disappointing because especially in that freaking era uh, naval battles in those giant rivers that you have in china were really important to actually the history of that country and also that period because major battles were actually fought in it now not necessarily yeah like with the battle of redcliffe all that kind of stuff so i think that it's just i think it is missed opportunities and i think it is something they should have just kept working on instead of just removing the future altogether but again that's my opinion again you have your all your own things to say upon that on what you will i suppose yeah the chicho and the you now can see them as well that's true Eh, nobody wants to trade with me at the moment, but unfortunate. What? Is he called the Mad? Okay? Nah. nah. He is. He is. I just, I, I just saw like with the... Oh god. Yes, he called the Mad. Oh my god, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, well, he's still leading his men into battle quite decisively. I suppose that's not too bad. And he has a lot of sons who are also in good positions. Now let's go and put you in that position then and you can also, you're still there, you can't get into anyone because you don't have enough. And I guess you can become another Profrost or pro Provost, I don't even know how to call that to be honest. But anyway, um, yeah we course we cast our votes for ourselves after the next King Nags, but I just don't think it will happen because I think that's still, that's still bugged. If you want to become the Holy Roman Emperor, you have to basically destroy all the other factions of the Holy Roman Empire. So that's unfortunate enough, but I guess you <laughs> can always have it, right? Uh, let's take a look. Uh, I guess hopefully in the future they can update that future. I don't know if they can, but who knows, right? You never know. Anyway, uh, let's end the turn. So that's my bit, <laughs> my bit babbling about the Total War series. I still enjoy it, it's still one of my favourite games there is. Uh, but unfortunately there's still some gripes you can always ignore. If you just say everything that's okay with this series, you, and because you just enjoy it so much, there's no never going to be improvement. I guess, oh sorry. I guess that's the same thing <laughs> that you have like when the series just ends on a certain note and you just, ah oh, because I enjoyed it in the past, I now have to enjoy how it ended. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's not that that's not how it works. Like I really enjoyed Rome too. I guess a lot of people didn't because of the bugs that were in the beginning. But I must admit, it was bad. Uh, but they fixed the game, and I really enjoyed playing with it now, especially with mods. And sometimes even with vanilla, it still is really enjoyable. So I guess there's just sometimes gripes. You think, eh, okay, eh. there could have been so much more. But who knows, right? You never know things will pan out in the end <laughs> sorry for my babbling but well uh, let, i'd love to have your your opinion on it how you guys think on that it's always subjective i suppose oh i accidentally let all the sound go away well, that's not really my idea uh, let's go for a decree Get some more loyalty in. Oh, I'm not sure what that is, but the sound is weird. That is unfortunate. Oh uh, yeah, so we do. We don't. We can't really f with anything. Uh, I'm still going for that. That isn't too bad. So we can at least do that in a second. Uh, we still do with these ones, so we should try to push on further quickly. 
and I guess yeah, we just wait a couple turns again. So I guess yeah, because I can't really do much else, I will just end the turn. All right, let's do that. Should we have smallpox? Uh, I have really hoped that you guys can hear that sound. Oh, that would be so annoying. So let's pray. Hmm. Bamberg has smallpox. Just great. Anyway, any other things that we can do, like in trade? Because otherwise, I'm just going to. I will do you the honor of listening to your task. Nobody really wants to trade, but it's unfortunate and weird because no more most of the time people just do want to do that. He does, so this boy that's not too bad. Kingdom of Castile. Speak, friend, and hopefully No, okay. Kingdom of Sicily, maybe. I welcome you on behalf of the people and give ear to your words. Nope. All right, fine. I don't really care yet. Ooh, I just, I'm really hoping that you don't hear that. Oh, because that would be bad. All right, anyway, uh, there's like a pop, 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 pop sound. So let's send it again. Well, our king has died, so let's go and get him. Nah, you are. All right then. Yeah, it was uh, it was about to happen, I guess. Jeez, thanks. All right. Because of that, I guess we should just start pushing towards this other settlement because that's the only one that we don't really need to go and attack. Except, oh, I didn't destroy that. Oops. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, I guess this is another end turn and long live the king. I guess, right? All right, let's get him married because we don't really have anybody else. Yeah, more influence isn't done the ruler. And because of that, you're going to secure loyalty from that guy. And you're going to get also married. All right, there we go. Let's end the turn. Very good. And I'll let someone else get him then, and then we sort of should be okay, hopefully. At least that's the idea. Anyway, let's end the turn. Oh, here we go. I sort of already did some stuff, not really needed to show that. Although we will be uh, attacking these guys, and I guess we'll be having some sort of a uh, little bit of the attrition. Oh, oh yeah, of course we can just attack this turn already. Oh well, that's an easy one. Perfect. And his first victory as king. You'll be occupying it. Thing is though, like I don't really want to go after Europe. I sort of already have done that in like other campaigns. And I guess if we get some good alliances with all these people, we should be fine. Uh, at least that's the hope. Uh, although these ones are not Christian, so I guess we could go after them and then afterwards we will set sail towards this coast and then we'll go to the Near East and try and get something going. I think that would be interesting, but let me know in that I'm not yet sure on the plan. Uh, going after the Dem Denmark might also be an option because of course they have sort of taken territory from our own um, uh, state. You honest welcome. And I think that might be an option to do as well. Welcome, worthy guest. I ah, that's unfortunate. But again, it would be, be good welcome. to maybe do that. I listen and speak. All right. Anyway, uh, you do have an upgrade. Good. All right. Anyway, uh, for now we just have to go after all of these. All right. Any other things that I still have to do? Except from destroying all of those things, this one can be, this one as well, and that one can stay. That one has to can go. Alright, anyway, we can have grid over here, but it's a good thing because I think we should go for uh, some thing, I'm not yet sure. Let's go for some extra sanitation. And over here we are also done. Yeah, 
I think it's mostly because of the plate, right? Eh, not really. Just overall stuff that isn't that great. Anyway, other things that we still have to do. And let's take a look. Eh, not really. Alright, um, these ones don't really want anything. And I guess we have uh, done mostly. Oh, look at that. Hungary is a strong power. And I wouldn't mind having some more Welcome, treaties with you. Friend. Ah, look at that. You bring words that honor both your people and ours. Really? Ah, that's unfortunate. Why are you so reluctant to doing anything? Cultural conversion. Religion is cultural. Why is that? That's weird. I guess we don't have the same culture. We Makes offer you honest sense. welcome. Speak, friend, and hopefully later we will drink to see like Alright, well we don't really want uh, Hungary to go after us, of course we are their big neighbour down north. We are one of the stronger factions in now. England super mostly is the powerhouse that you have there, and we're at war with them, so that's kind of a pain. Speak um, so I think peace with them would be great, but I don't think it will happen. Certainly interesting that they just took over it. Over it all. So who knows? Anyway, I'm not sure actually that hearable because I, <laughs> I am used to that my microphone is on my headset and I have now something new, so my apologies. <laughs> but anyway, let's just enter in again and see what happens. Uh, although I'm do f I'm I'm thinking to maybe just end this episode off because I have not much else to do except from just doing some turn ends and just seeing uh, what I can do in that kind of guard. So actually, I'm not going to record like pre-record any more of this um, <coughs> of this series of this uh, series. So let me know in the comments: Do you want me to go after Denmark, or do you want me to go after the Jotivingians? So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. I know it is a little bit shorter than I used to do, like a half an hour, but it is just overall to know what you guys want me to do. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and if you think I deserve a like, it's always appreciated. And if you're new to the channel and want to keep, uh, yeah, stick around for update, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you can be notified right away of when I release new videos. So anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day, uh, and I hope to see you in the next one.